you know, when you move to Nashville, you have these these ideas of what you think it is. And, you know, when you get there, it's actually not what you thought at all. The very first week I was in Nashville, I had an opportunity to go to a club and, and, uh, and jam with some guys. And uh, one of the guys that was there, after I got done jamming him on a couple of songs, I think I played a Tom Petty song, he pulls me off to the side and says, man, it's like, if you stay sweet, and if you put a smile on your face, he goes, you will go far in this town. And I didn't really know at the time what that meant, but you know, that's, that's really the truth, you know, especially in Nashville. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's just a good old boy network of, of, of friends and buddies. You know, if you just, if you're, as I call it, a good hang, you know, you know, you will go far. I think when you're meant to do something and you're you're on that journey and you're doing it, I think everything is then magnified. The emotions are magnified because you are doing what you're meant to do. So therefore, you know, all the negatives are magnified as well as the positives. You know, so I always tell people that doing what you love to do is the one thing you love and the one thing you hate at the same time. It's always a challenge, and, and uh, I'm bit, I've been very blessed and fortunate to have a, a beautiful wife that has put up with my garbage for years. <laughs> God bless her. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we just, that's what we do. We just, you know, learn to, that's our life. You know, it's kind of like a, a truck driver or a traveling salesman, you know, you're going to be gone. When my, my wife and I were dating. We were kids, we were like 19, 20 years old, you know. And I said, I said, honey, I said, look, here's the deal. This is this is who I am. I'm a musician. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna miss birthdays. I'm gonna miss graduations. I'm gonna I'm gonna miss things. You know, there's gonna be good years and bad years. It's gonna be up and down. And I said, and I really want you on this journey with me. You know. And she's like, okay. Great. Of course, we were kids and didn't really know what that meant until we got into it. I believe that when you are, you know, operating uh, within your purpose, I believe that there is a, a a a grace that comes over you. That things, you know, there's there's always going to be challenges in this life, but I think overall there is a grace, and there's always been that 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 grace over over my family. You know, when I'm gone, you know, there's it's just it just works. If that makes sense you know it's just everything kind of comes together and it just makes sense and it feels right you know and so that is that is um, that tells me that we're in the perfect place the perfect time of doing what we're meant to do you know so we kind of rest in that especially now my son's getting older you know he's he's uh, he's 10 years old now and uh, he's you know I have to deal with that I don't want him to go you know I mean, it's it's tough, you know, and your your heart breaks. And I wish I was home more, you know. But I also I really love being on the road and doing what I'm doing, you know. Uh, so I think it's just, you know, we have to come to terms that this is this is who we are, and this is what we're gonna do, you know. And it's not it's not for everybody, you know. Like you have to be, you know, you have to be purposed to do this, and your spouse, I believe, has got to be purposed to be with you. To journey with you on this because it's not for everybody.